Hey everybody, it's Freddie with 5280scuba.com. You're looking for a travel BC. The Oceanic Biolite might just have the features you're looking for. We'll get to that in just a second. So I'm here today to review the Oceanic Biolite. First thing you probably notice, the cool factor sitting on the shelf. There's some neat style elements to this. They didn't just make a plain old flat inflator. They gave it some style. They lightened the weight a little bit, putting some holes in it. You're probably looking at it thinking there's something missing because you don't have all the jacket. You don't have the big cummerbund. It just looks so minimal. And that's part of the benefit really of a travel BC. So let's get right into the features. This is a feature rich BC. They've really put a lot of engineering into this to make it very, very comfortable. So the technology has actually helped the minimalist version of a BC. So what do I mean by that? Back inflate. The back inflate is the thing that sets this apart from many BCs. And that is that the bladder is 100% in the rear of the BC in the front. All you have is straps. And all you have is a connector uh, belt and the strap across the chest. That's it. You'll notice something seems missing and that's because the bulky BCs that are big jacket styles, this doesn't have that. As a result, it's much lighter. It only weighs about five and a half pounds. And so it's very comfortable. A couple of the features that make this a travel BC is the fact that it has such a small hard backpack from here to here. So what is that? I don't know, eight inches. You can fold everything else around that. So you can really fold this BC tight in your luggage. Fits well. It only weighs five and a half pounds, so it's light. It does make up for some of the uh, features of a full backpack on a lot of BCs in that it has a strap to hold the tank at the bottom as well as in the middle. And the reason for this is a lot of travel BCs that only have one strap, when the tank is empty at the end of your dive, it tends to want to lift up in the, on the bottom of it. This actually cinches it right down. Okay, it's Velcro, very simple to use. On the top, this is a great feature in that everybody has their favorite place where their tank sits. I don't like mine too high because my head hits it, or I don't like it too low because it's pulling me backwards. So you find exactly the spot you like. You set this buckle. This goes around the neck of the tank. So you slide it in loose, put this around the neck, slide the BC down, cinch it all down. Perfect every time. Another feature on the back because the flotation is in the, in the back. If it were fully inflated, which you don't do that very often, but if you had it fully inflated, a back inflate would tend to pitch you forward just a little bit. Okay. So what they've done to overcome that is they put these pouches on the back that will hold weight. Now these are non dumpable. The fronts are dumpable. We'll get that in a second, but these are non dumpable pouches. So you can evenly distribute the weight, whichever way makes you feel comfortable. So sitting on the surface, most people only fill their bladder half full. That'll hold you on the surface upright perfectly, just like a jacket style, because you don't have anything below pushing you forward. A jacket style fully inflated would hold you straight. However, how often do you fully inflate? So the top, the, the air would be at the top. Okay. It does have the valve on the back and another nice feature of this. And I can't tell you how many people this, they've heard this for the very first time, but it's been in BCs for a long time. There's a stainless steel cord on the inside of this hose. It goes from the valve here on top all the way down to the inflator. So when you're wearing the BC, you simply pull this down. You're not going to hurt it. You simply just pull it down and that steel cord will open up the valve. And if you're going down feet first, it'll let the air out the top. You can slowly descend. It also has, you can see here, a dump valve on the bottom of the BC. For those of you that like to go inverted head first, you just reach back, tug on it a little bit and it releases the air. Okay. Now, one of the key features of this BC and personally, one of my favorites, I'm trying to be an advocate for the industry to get rid of integrated weight pockets. The big reason why personally is people lose them and they're so darn expensive to replace when you really don't need them. And this technology here explains why these are dumpable weight pouches. You can just simply open the top, 
put your weight in, zip it closed, and if you ever needed to dump, you just simply pop the strap and it falls right out the bottom. That's it. No weight pocket, no integrated snaps, clips to break. Um, I can't tell you how many of our rental BCs, people lose the pockets because they don't snap it in all the way. And then I hate to look them in the eye and say, I'm really sorry, but <laughs> you need to buy a weight pocket. And they're expensive. So I love that feature. Uh, the adjustable straps on the side, just like any other BC, like elevator straps, you just tug down, get it perfect. The top strap across the chest. Um, I love one feature about this on the ladies cut BC. It's completely adjustable. You can slide it down or up. So depending on where you like to wear it on the chest, it's much more comfortable for the ladies. Also on the ladies, it's a narrower cut in the shoulders. And these BCs have a lot of very nice, comfortable padding, very soft material on the inside, very tough material on the outside for abrasion, but they won't, uh, they won't rub your wetsuit raw and it won't get all the little, you know, pilling up there. The material that the bladder is made out of is called Bioflex material. It's very abrasion resistant and it does stretch. And one of the neat features I like about this BC is that it has these bungees, they're stretchy, and what they do is they suck the bladder in when it's deflated. So if you were wearing this BC completely deflated, looking in a mirror, you would see how streamlined it is. It, it, you can't even see it on the side. Like a lot of these BCs with the big bladders behind you, this one just tucks in nice and tight. I actually even cut mine and made it a little shorter because I like that feature. And I rarely inflate my BC all the way anyway, so it doesn't matter. But when you inflate it all the way, as this one is, the bungee stretches, it helps hold it tight and without moving around. So it's much more comfortable when you're horizontal and you're diving if you have air and you go side to side. The whole bladder doesn't move on you. I like that feature. Another feature on both the men's and the women's is you don't have a cummerbund. Why do you need it? You have a nice buckle and it's also self-adjusting. What I mean by that is if you go down and your suit compresses because of depth, um, you know how the cummerbunds can get loose. Well, this is stretchy. So once you tighten it on the surface and it's tight just the way you like it, you go down. If everything compresses, it's going to just suck in and it's going to hold nice and tight. With the chest strap, they both have a whistle right here so you can signal a boat if you like. They have places to add uh, D-rings and attach things like your flashlight, your camera, your you know cords, your zip cords. One thing I wish this BC had and that is a pocket. It does not have a knife mount. I did mount mine to the side right here and it does not have a pocket to put anything inside. Now you can buy those aftermarket in all different kinds of sizes so that's overcomable, but I wish it did have a pocket. So let's talk a little bit about function. In the world of back inflate BCs or travel BCs, how does the Oceanic BioLite stack up? In my opinion, great. The reason why is it's so minimal. It's, you're not carrying so much stuff on your body. It's very streamlined. They've thought about it with the bungees pulling the bladder in, keeping everything tight until you need to inflate it. It's got all the main features that you're really gonna need in a recreational BC. They even thought about the weight pockets not being integrated. One less piece, less weight, less things to lose, less things to break or go wrong. They've eliminated parts and pieces that why do you need a cummerbund and the, the waist strap, right? Made it adjustable for men, for women tailored it to women. Isn't that nice? You used to have to buy a BC and they were universal. Now you can get women's cuts, men's cuts, and they work so well. I love the fact that it packs up super, super tight and neat and small. To me, I travel a lot, putting it in my bag. Now I'm getting away with a smaller gear bag. I used to have this huge thing. And now my gear bag weighs under 50 pounds, whereas I used to have to bring two. It does have the, the functionality of adding stuff to it. So if you're a photographer and you have your, you know, your uh, lanyard and you want to connect it here or your flashlight or your knife or something like that, you can 
there's some attachments. Even on the belt here, there's an attachment. The sole reason on both sides is so that you can hang things, okay? It works well. Uh, the, uh, the recreational side of things, you have to understand this is not a tech BC. So it's not going to be one of those where you're going to be hanging extra bottles and side mount and all that kind of stuff on this BC. But if you just want a comfortable BC to wear on uh, recreational dives, this BC is, is going to work out well. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about the quality of the Oceanic Biolite. And I'm a little divided here because there's two parts to quality, specifically with this BC. So first I'm going to say the materials they use are excellent. They use a thousand denier nylon for all the areas that uh, might get abraded and they're very, very tough. They use good zippers, never had one fail. Their buckles are not brittle like many manufacturers are. They're nice and uh, soft so they just don't break on you. You don't have to have them replaced. They do give you the uh, tough D-rings that are, they're not metal, they're the nylock or something like that. I forget what it's called, but they're tough. They're good. The bladder itself, the Bioflex material is only oceanic. It's excellent. It's abrasion resistant. It doesn't snag. It doesn't pill. It's stretchy. So it helps conform when you're, when it's in a uh, deflated state. And they put a lot of nice features onto them, like the heavy duty parachute cord for the zip ring, uh, for the zippers and things like that. The, um, the other part of the quality rating for me is what you might call quality control. This is an area where it's a little frustrating sometimes because you love this BC, you sell it to somebody and they bring it back and they say it's leaking or you know, something else is a challenge. So we've had a few small challenges where the stainless steel cord on the inside that opens the dump valve wasn't connected. Um, easily fixed, no problem. There was no defect in the materials and it worked perfect after that. We've also had a few times where the, uh, the zip ties that hold the inflator onto the hose touch loose and it's leaking just a little bit. Um, and so, Really, you just put a new zip tie on it and tighten it down, but you shouldn't really have to deal with that. And it's not a lot of them, but it happens enough times that we see it that I think it is something that the manufacturer should look into a little bit more for these particular BCs being newer. So on to durability. Well, the BioLite's been around a while. We have never had a material fail. We've never had a bladder that, wasn't, that um, didn't perform. The durability of the materials, it's engineered like many BCs, super, super tough. You would think when you feel this bladder that it might be a little bit fragile, but we've never had a challenge with it. It's, it's, uh, we've had them cut, but you can cut anything. And it took something very sharp to cut it. Um, but we repaired it, no problem, okay? So the durability after about 80 to 100 dives that I've done on mine, Mine still looks almost new. Uh, it's conforming to my shoulders a little bit, which I like. And the material on the inside has never worn thin or anything yet. And it's lasted well for us. I suppose you could call this a wonderful feature as well. The value of this BC for what you get and what it provides for you and the comfort of the dive that you get with this is it's priced well in the marketplace. It's below average in the middle of the travel line BCs out there, yet it still delivers on the quality and the durability and the materials and the, and the features, okay? So the value is a very good value. I'd say just a little bit below average. So to sum up the Oceanic BioLite BC, it, the pros of this BC are that it's light, it's very packable, it's very streamlined, it's very comfortable. Those are the pros. The cons of this BC are there is no place to mount a knife. In my opinion, I believe it needs a pocket. Um, it has minimal attachment areas. It does have some, but if you're going to try to carry extra gear with you, it could use a few more attachments. But overall, my summary for this BC is that it is an excellent choice for the recreational diver. Our rating for the Oceanic BioLife under the cool factor is a 7.5. Under the features, also a 7.5.
Under the function, it's an eight. Our quality, because of some of the quality control issues, I had to rate it at a six. Get rid of those and it'll rise substantially. The durability factor, haven't had a long-term use, but with approximately 100 dives, we're giving it a seven. The value, that received an 8.5. So the BA rating average for the Oceanic Biolite is 7.4. If you would like to give us any comments, if you've used this BC before, we'd love to hear them. Just send us an email or put your comments below. Perhaps if there's another BC out there that you would like us to rate, just let us know and we'll get to it just as quickly as we can. All right, thanks so much. Have a great day.